The question is, are you excited for Spider-Man 4? Because it's confirmed it's happening. I am very excited. I can't wait. It's coming out probably in 2026. It's filming in 2025. There's a lot of stuff that's going down right now within Marvel. A lot of things being moved about. But today is just about Spider-Man because Tom Holland has said he's read the script. From his thoughts, it's looking rather spicy. Gotta do fact of the day though. Page number 189, fact number four. The word pencil comes from a Latin word meaning small penis. Great fact. That's a brilliant fact that is. Every time I look at a pencil, I'm gonna be thinking small pee pee. The pencils. <laughs> Hey, you're into the comic head. Nonsense. Yes, and right now we're quickly we're going to be talking about the big Spider-Man 4 news. Tom Holland coming out, not with the spoilers, but coming out with some of the info. He actually just said a few days ago, I knew RDJ was coming back months and months ago. <gasps> Did he really? But I wasn't allowed to be talking anywhere just in case. Oh, wow. He was one of the few who knew. I think he already knew he was coming back for Spider-Man 4 and they were just trying to structure that story because from all his talkings, he's saying this story has changed a lot from what it was initially because coming off of the back of Spider-Man No Way Home, it seemed like this movie would be smaller in scale, it would be ground level, street level, not dealing with multiversal stuff, and I thought that was the right way to go. You can actually have the Spider-Man origin from the comics, but now, because of all the movings around, the time these things have taken, it's looking like this is gonna be a multiversal story of some sort. Extra stuff that ties into the overall universe, which is why they've rewritten this script so many times. Oh, you see, I'm not unhappy finding that out, but I'm not exactly pleased because at the end of The Last Spider-Man, the whole cinema was so excited to see him with the sewing machine, his homemade suit. Mm -hmm. He's going to be taking on street level villains, trying to figure out his own way because after everything that's happened now, he's been removed from all the Avengers. Everyone's forgotten who he is. Yep. This is a clean slate to have friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. A kid getting his GED, going to a local college, maybe meeting certain people like Doc Ock. Or Harry Osborn. Or Harry Osborn. I just didn't want Tom Holland Spider-Man to be part of the Avengers movies going forward but he's the biggest character on the roster right now yeah. so you can't not include him my thought would be you go with the other Spider-Man and use a Tobey Maguire or a Andrew Garfield in the Avengers movies that way you don't have to utilize his character and change his arc too much they decided they want Tom Holland because Tom Holland is the relative draw here and then you got Zendaya as well maybe coming back I don't love that idea because even though she was the best version of her character in the third Spider-Man movie I hated her in the first two but it ended in a good place where I thought I like the way they've handled this and if she just comes back in the fourth one I think that does disservice to her character and Spider-Man's character from his idea of what he needs to do to protect the people around him at the end of the third movie. You're absolutely right. They can bring MJ back only if they do it in the fifth one, the sixth one, yeah. for the end of the trilogy mm -hmm. and potentially the end of the Tom Holland Spider-Man right. run. But bringing her back so soon it just null and voids what he had to go through in the last film. That is a character growth moment for him to understand that he's entirely alone. And he can't have everything. And that's the sacrifice thing. you make when you are a hero and mm -hmm. you are good in your heart and you have to make the right decisions. Is he going to be Spider-Man and known as Peter Parker? Or is it just going to be in the Avengers with the Spider-Man cowl on the whole time? The whole time. The whole time. He's wearing the mask the whole time. You can't go back now and be like, oh, I'm Spider-Man to everyone. It has to be now from this point. He has a secret identity and he doesn't allow anyone to see his face. Wow, okay. It's doable. And then we just get shots of him with it off when he's alone. Oh. It's big. I don't know how you square this circle, but a circle is gonna have to be squared, a triangle is gonna have to be hexagoned, and we'll figure that out as the time comes.